Assalamualaikum. Hi, I'm Natasha Ismail, audiologist in charge in KPJ Johor Specialist Hospital. My duty as an audiologist includes identify, diagnose and treat patients with hearing problems. I also examine patients with balance-related problems. I have identified not just adults but youngsters with noise-induced hearing loss. It is a hearing loss caused by an exposure to occupational or recreational noise. Occupational is noise at the workplace and recreational is noise from daily activities or hobbies such as listening to loud music or video games. Noise-induced hearing loss can result from one-time exposure to a very loud sound, example gunshot or explosion, or from listening to loud sounds over an extended period. According to World Health Organization WHO, there are about 1 billion teenagers and young adults worldwide could be at risk of hearing loss due to unsafe listening practice. Some of the signs or symptoms of hearing loss caused by noise are difficulty understanding speech in noisy environment, turning up the TV or radio volume, and tinnitus, which is ringing in the ear. Unfortunately, noise-induced hearing loss cannot be medically or surgically treated or corrected because hair cells in the ear that has been damaged cannot regenerate. But the good news is, it is preventable. There are a lot of strategies at the websites that you can see, but a good rule of thumb is to avoid noises that are too loud, too close, or last too long. So if it's too loud, you need to turn down the volume. If it's too close, walk away. And if it lasts too long, protect your ear. My suggestion, have your hearing checked or tested at audiology services for early diagnosis to find possible solution if needed. So everyone, take care of your hearing. Bye.